it's one of those evenings I'm sat down on the canal and surprise surprise not a lot's happening so I'm going to change my tactic over and I just thought I'd show you as I set it up what I'm going to do um, I just want something that I can creep across the bottom 12 foot deep in and out the snags yep yeah, it's that usual snaggy bit again I want something that's going to float up off the bottom a bit of vibration and hopefully a bit enticing so I just thought I'd show you what I'm going to do so what I'm using is a Trocar TK110 TK in a 1.0 size um, a little 7 gram tungsten um, cheb weight you could do it with just a sliding worm weight whatever you want I quite like these for on this situation um, a 1 out it's quite a big hook for something like this I mean some people go much smaller but I'm not fishing for small fish I want something that's not going to bend out and I want something that's going to move the hooking point up a fair bit so anyway all I'm going to do is just bang it onto this now one of the things that I do like to do to help it slide on is just wet the hook a bit first so that's all done not saying it's the most hygienic thing to do line it up on the center I'm going to push it in roughly the same distance as the straight bick before I get to the bend so just on like that nice and straight and then just pop it straight out slide it along the shank of the hook rotate it round as I go pop at that end and then literally hold the lure where I want it try not to stretch it put my thumb against the edge and just go pop feel it against my finger without sticking it in and out the other side there we go you can fish it like that if you want to but it's just easier I think just to snug it up a little bit against the hook and then I just skin the very very end of the hook over just try that again just pull it back and just let the hook just pop into it and there we go it's as simple as that pop the link onto that chuck it in and away we go and it'll just stand up lovely on the bottom like that hopefully and as I creep it back it'll be waggling its tail I could always cut that and split it if I want to but that's it very very basic chuck it on straighten it up a bit chuck it on chuck it out and creep it back there we go quick and easy